Hey folks, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use components. Components let you create a widget once and reuse it in multiple places in the app. When you wanna make a change, you can just edit the component instead of having to go in and edit every place that component is used. Not only does this save you a lot of time, it also makes the look and feel of your app more consistent. So let's take a look at an example. Here we have a profile picture. And we also reuse this in the profile page. So let's make this a component and make it reuse across these two pages. Let's select this stack, which is the full profile page, and create a component from it. If you go back to the feed page, we can see that we're already using our component here. Now let's make sure we're using it in the profile page as well. So we'll replace this profile widget with our component, which we can find in the widget panel under components. Here we have our custom components ready to drag in. Now let's go into our component and do a little bit of customization. So now we'll add parameters to our component. So we can go here in the parameter section and let's say add an image path, which will be image path property. And let's say we might want to edit the icon that's here and maybe the color of this container. We'll add two more parameters for those. Okay, so now that we've defined those parameters, let's actually use them. So for this icon, let's set it from a property, our icon property. And for the background color, let's set this color from the color that we defined as well. And lastly, this image, let's set it from the image path that we set earlier also. Okay. One more thing we might want to do is to change the size of our profile picture. To do that, let's add a parameter for size as well. Let's call it radius. Okay, now that we've set everything we might want to change, let's go back to where we use this component in the pages. So let's go in and set our properties. So for image path, we'll set it from the user record, profile pick. And for the icon, see we have the default one from the component, but we can really make it whatever we want. For the background color, let's say red. Maybe for now we keep it in blue. And now for the size, since we want this one to be maybe a little bigger than in the feed page, let's actually make it 100. So as we can see, we passed in all these parameters. They're reflected here via this component. And if we go into the feed page, we can basically do the same here. So image path, similar deal, profile pick, icon, let's not get too crazy with it here. Let's just uh, and let's make this one maybe even a little bit smaller.
Cool. And that's basically it. So you, as you can see, we have defined our component here and used it in two places and customized it to our heart's desire. And lastly, if you want to view all of your pages and components, you just come here to this section and see them all right here. Thanks for watching. Hope you found it useful and go out there and build some components.